They almost over-engineer everything they do to make sure that you just have an accept exceptional experience, and that certainly is the brand name. We all know that. To give you an idea, this is so multi-purpose, and we'll prove it in just a second, but just so you'll know, we've got this great little masher attachment. That's normally a $25 additional purchase. This converts into a chopping system. That's normally $25. So right there with just these two items alone, not the rest of everything you're seeing, the beaker, the whisk, and the unit itself, you're spending $50. So for $9 more, you're getting everything else that you see here on this collection. Now, here's the big deal. Four flex pays, and this is the lowest price we've ever offered. And of course, it's that famous hand blender from Braun. Hi, Steph. How are you? Big deal. Yes, amazing value. <laughs> I love that. If you have never worked with a hand blender, I gotta tell you. Oh, you don't know what you're this, missing. It, yeah, it has literally changed my world. And what I like so much about this one in particular is that I've got 350 watts oh. right here in the palm of my hand. So I'm not giving up any power. You know what I am giving up? Hauling out the big, bulky blender. And there's times I do it. I've gotten on a green smoothie kick. I'm very proud of myself. But I thought that I had to get out the big blender to do it because of all the fiber, because of the greens. You notice what we're missing in here? I'll hold it up so you can get a good look at it. Liquid. No liquid. There is no liquid in here. And for sure then I would think I gotta get out the big several hundred dollar clunky blender. Sure. You don't. Or a juicer. <laughs> or a juicer, right. right, um, right. And then I'd have to clean it and that's a whole different story we won't get into. <laughs> right, exactly. But what I can do just in the palm of my hand is that I start to break through the fibers in those juicy fruits. And you know what I realize? I don't need the calories of adding a liquid. Yeah. I don't need to water down my smoothie by trying to avoid calories in using water because those grapes they're full of liquid yep. that cucumber it's full of liquid Spinning. and once I get down to the bottom you can see wow. a vortex forming just from a hand blender that I am able to use for my green smoothie and that took all of about what 30 oh, seconds 30 max and suddenly this is how green smoothies have gotten on my menu every single morning it has completely changed my eating habits yeah, I, I, you know what i'm doing the same darn thing too other than tonight when i was eating all the stuff that came out of the oven <laughs> i've been really trying to but be it's good air about fried it. so that's it okay fried, so i feel a little <laughs> less guilty but what i love about this too is i've committed to that as well so every morning i do a whole protein thing and i've got all the same kind of ingredients i use the baby spinach i use all yes. the greens and boy i'll tell you what if you've got a complicated system to your point, you don't do it. You, you, you're, you, go, you go, oh, the first week you're good. And the second week you're like, if I have to pull all that stuff out just to make my smoothie, well, and clean I'm it. out. It was the cleaning that oh. was doing me in. Great point. So let's talk about Great cleaning. Point. First of all, you're getting the beaker. And at first I thought, oh, well, that's nice, but I probably won't really use it. It's all I use. Because it is the absolute perfect <laughs> depth. you can drink straight out of depth. it. <laughs> uh, you can. I, there are many days where I am exactly that asleep. <laughs> but it's the perfect depth for that when you're working with the blending wand that it goes right in. Now, take a look at the mess I didn't make until I took it apart because there's no spray. This is called the Power Good Bell, point. and this is so well engineered with Bronze German Engineering, and I'll show you that mm. on one of our cleaner ones as we get so going good. there. Isn't that amazing? So, good. <laughs> so there's no spray. This all pops right into the dishwasher, and the whole process becomes so easy. So if healthier eating is on the agenda, this makes it so great. And yes, mm -hmm. I love that combination mm. of the fruit and the grapes. That is absolutely delicious. So now let's talk about about the value because we're getting so many different pieces and parts. This is the masher. And the reason we like this so much is because the holidays are right around the corner. Sure. What is the hardest thing for the holidays? And I outsource it to my mother-in-law every you know, holiday like... because I don't <laughs> like making mashed potatoes. I admit I hate peeling them the most and I know John Farrell has a solution for that. But the other reason I outsource it is because they're not always good, right? They right. don't always right. turn out. Right. And it's kind of embarrassing, especially when you do what I do for a living room. People are like, Oh, your mashed potatoes really aren't very good. Well, I have finally realized why. Because I didn't have something that incorporated air oh. as I mashed. No kidding. That's it's, the trick? It is the trick. Oh. And that's why something that is specifically called a masher makes such a difference. Yes, I can do this with a hand blender. But you know what happens when you do it with a hand blender? It over mixes. Right. So then Which they breaks get down. Gum, then it breaks down the starch. They right. get kind of pasty. They get mushy. That's what's wrong with our mashed potatoes. Braun taught me that with the masher edition because oh, now making mashed potatoes 
so much easier. Do you see how they're coming out? I call them little swirlies. They're coming out in the little swirlies from the top. Those little swirlies are infused with air. And that's what's gonna make these light and fluffy. Really? And so when you go to a restaurant, I know I thought, why the heck are theirs so much better than mine? Right. You would think they'd be hard to make in big batches. Well, no, they have industrial size mashers that aerate the whole batch. Now you have a masher for your hand and you can make these perfect potatoes. I will not outsource them this year. I will do it myself. <laughs> your mother-in-law's like, hallelujah. Exactly. She's not leaving me with that crappy job. Probably tired of that job. <laughs> and by the way, it works just as well if we were going to do it with cauliflower. Because I know, of course, <gasps> rice oh and mashed gosh. cauliflower. Oh my gosh, do you know on Pinterest there is a gazillion recipes for um, riced cauliflower. Oh, and nobody absolutely. knows how to make it taste right. Nobody is, I mean, they really don't. They give yep. you this, they give you that, and people try different techniques. For cauliflower, it's mashing awesome. it as an alternative, and everyone wants to cook that way because now it's an alternative to mashed potatoes. Exactly. With none of the guilt. This is gonna make that perfect mashed It texture. is wonderful. And wow. I have to tell you, and we're not doing it tonight because I tend to eat it all, avocado, the guacamole <gasps> this masher makes is out of this world because you know is why? Is it velvety? Yes, oh, because again, like almost a mousse There's places you go where their guacamole is just so light so, and fluffy. Yeah. Again, it's that aeration. It's adding the no air. Kidding. So then we're thinking value. You know, people pay $25 just for a great masher. I totally get why. Right. But you're getting the masher. Remember, this is the attachment top that's going to switch and do everything. It'll do my masher. It'll do my power belt. That's great. And it will also do my my food chopper. Now, I've paid $50, $60, $70 for a good two cup food chopper sure. for many different brands. Well, with Braun, I'm taking this same top. And again, I want to show you how easy it is. I'm squeezing the sides, I'm pushing it in, and I'm good to go. That's now, I so have my smart. two choices of speeds. So I tend to start things on low because honestly, 350 watts is a lot of power. Right. It's as big a power as a lot of our stand mixers. So I start things on low just to kind of get a look at not, you know, over pre anything and think, this is tarragon. We're going to put it to a soup and think, all right, I want a little more oomph. So then I go to high. That's great. And that's the difference. But you have such control. Do you see wow. how I, I primarily pulse? Because I like to just keep an eye on things. If you want to let her rip, let her rip. It's got the power. So you have so, lots of different options. So we've shown it so far as the juicer that you did down there. Right. We just did the mashed potatoes. That's your, that's your masher. My masher attachment. Now it's your food chopper. It's your food processor. It's a mini food processor. That's amazing. And by the way, it isn't all that mini. This holds two cups. Uh, sometimes I rice my cauliflower. I would do that in here. High speed. Raw vegetables, no problem. Well, and by the way, we haven't even gotten to whip. Oh, yeah, we'll get so, there. I mean, think of how many different things and tools you'd have to have in your kitchen to match what this does. And then how much would you spend all that? Just a real quick point. Lowest price we've ever offered. This is the night to get this if you're looking for it. Or if you want to give it as a gift. Because remember, it's going to take up so much less space than the chopper and the masher. Exactly. And the, than the, the handheld, you know, when you're using the, the, um, the thing... <laughs> Which thingy? Which thingy? That does the whippy. Oh, the whipping cream? The yeah. whisk? The whisk. Thank you. <laughs> the hand on. beaters? The whippy thing? Yeah, the hand beaters. Thank you. You're thinking the hand, hand beaters. I was. I was thinking that uh, the hand beaters. And by beater. the way, you spray it on the ceiling when you use the oh, hand beaters. Yes, it goes all everywhere. Over the cabinets. Yeah, it's everywhere. You know, I love the point about the amount of space these things take up because for me, a lot of the reason I feel lazy and stop making things from fresh, especially when I know I'm fully capable, is just because it's a lot of effort to get out all the appliances stuff. that are heavy and then yeah. they need to be wiped down and a lot of times they don't go in the dishwasher. Absolutely everything but the unit itself pops into the dishwasher. And I mean, I'm telling you, when you feel this, it's rock solid. This isn't a bunch of plastic wimpy pieces. Not at I all. I mean, and you can even feel the grip is beautiful German on this. German stainless steel. The really brawn nice. name goes a long way in quality yeah. and you are getting it. Now, do you see what I'm doing right now? This is still boiling. You can see the bubbles popping all over, yet I am able to work with it in a blender. This is how immersion blenders truly came to be, is that this is how chefs in the restaurant make their soups. And the reason they do it is because if you don't have an immersion blender, oh, and I'm getting a great vortex of really hot liquid. If you don't have an immersion blender, you have to cool your soup, put it in your large countertop blender, mm -hmm. and then blend and then transfer. Now, what we're able to do with an immersion blender is put the actual blending unit into this boiling hot soup because it didn't spray. I did not say ouch. Yeah. We actually just sat here in a very nice conversation and I kind of forgot I was working with a boiling <laughs> liquid because it's that easy. So when we do our butternut squash soup, when we do anything that we want to have just a little bit more texture, I didn't even add the cream. And I gotta tell you why, and I know our, my sous chef is like, come on, you're supposed to add the cream. The reason is, 
It is so well blended. Wow. I don't think I need it. Look in here. That's beautiful. I'm going to save those calories, and we're going to dish it without it, because I want to show you how incredibly smooth it gets. And what was it? Uh, butternut squash. Oh, beautiful. So I love this for this season because I have to tell you, mm. any kind of squash soup. Uh, it's so delicious. What will you pay fall. for this? You know, even at the uh, quick serve counters, they're $8. Right. Go to a nice restaurant, it's $15 for a bowl of soup. Would you like to know how you make this? It's butternut squash, which you can buy <laughs> pre-cut. You can roast it. I think you would actually even buy it roasted frozen now in some of the grocery stores. And then you're going to add some spices, and that is it. If you want to add... But it's add... the immersion blender that yes. gives it that richness and that flavor and that texture. Because, again, it's unlike just boiling something to death and then kind of mushing it around. You and know. then the fresh herb. Oh, nice. Which now, you obviously used and made in the truck. We in the did. Chopper. Now take a sniff of a fresh herb and the difference. Oh, Jesus. Isn't that amazing? That's, that's three. 300% different than just a store-bought herb. Unlocking a fresh That's herb. That's gorgeous. And even That's if gorgeous. you buy them fresh at the store, yeah. it's when you make the cuts that the aromas come, really, that you really come get to enjoy it. Oh, you have two colors. We have the red, we have the black. It's really, really simple. Um, I, I just think this is one of those really smart tools. I mean, think about everything that you need for a food processor. You've got it. And that's a $25 additional purchase normally. You want a masher? You might not use it every single week, but dag on it when you're going to make those potatoes, or you want to get healthier and do that cauliflower mashed. This is a $25 additional piece that goes with this. You also get the beaker. We're going to talk about whipping and you get the unit itself. All of this is the lowest price we've ever offered. There's never been a better time. We have four flex pays. You can get this home right away for about $15. And all of that comes in this one special configuration. This is, uh, quite frankly, we've sold this before and it's a great item. It's a customer pick at $79. When I walked in and saw it was $59, I was like, okay, now that got my attention. Uh, I know, the this value is, is amazing. Super value. Something simple like salsa. Again, they're just not good in the jars. I've yet, I have bought so many jars and trying to find one that was decent. Totally give up because it's really only five ingredients. We use tomatillos with some roasted onion to make it a little fancy, but you nice. could do this with regular tomatoes, jalapenos, some lime, some Can onion. You're good to go. Do you see what I did with the, um, the yeah. chopper jar? You just used it. It's so pretty. I just nestled it right on in there and used it. I love the way this looks. So it's just mm. a fun little add-on. That is delicious. Isn't that wonderful? That is roasted oh tomatillos with onions. Wow. I know. Is there anything else in there? Uh, you know what, Renee's? Garlic and olive oil. Ooh, there you go. Oh, that is so uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice thick chips help too. So oh again, easy to use because it's all about what you're using. 350 watts is as much power as that you have in your countertop blender. So the fact wow. that you've got it in the palm of your hand means you have all the control. I'm touching low, I am touching high, and I don't have to do anything else. You actually do it innately. D but Stephanie, do you find that as we head into the fall, People will realize more and more because of all the events coming up and football of and everything course. happening that they'll use this so much more than they ever imagined they would. Oh, absolutely. Would you think that? Well, for one thing, it's so much easier to take out than anything else that you work with. You right. know, I keep it right in my con in my silverware drawer. Oh, so right, it's not right. like I'm bending over, hauling up things. Making a big blender So that as I go to make salsa, which honestly, I'm decent with a knife. I might have rough chopped it and made it more of a pico de gallo, but I would be like, oh, well, I could just whip it through this just really real well. fast. So whipping cream, there's nothing better than fresh whipping cream. Am I guilty of buying it in the container? I am because I think, oh, well, I really want to get out the blender while I'm entertaining and do all that. Sure I will because it took me about 15 seconds. That's crazy. You know, so when you realize with a tool like this brawn, it's there's just no reason well, even not if let's to say do you it have fresh. a whole gang coming over doing a frittata. Okay. And you have to whip together a whole bunch of eggs. Oh, the eggs get so light and fluffy. Oh, again, if it's you that use whole the air being, yeah, yeah, use the whisk and air. use the beaker and you're going to have the best frittata, the best omelets, even the best scrambled eggs. Put a little cream in there. Absolutely. Done. And here's what I would say about kind of upping your cooking game. This doesn't take a lot of skill or effort to use. Sure. I am literally snapping it in and out of the different appliances. That could not be easier. I am using push button technology from and Braun. And show them that what you're doing right yep. there. Yep, so here is low. You can see it's running it there. Here is high. I can pulse if I want. If I want to send it going, I don't want to do it too much more. It's going to turn into a puree here for me. So I'm going to make a fun little dessert. And you can do this with absolutely anything, but I got to tell you, the fresh berries are definitely my favorite. So I took a wafer. You can also do this with those ready-to-go uh, shortcakes that they sell oh, in the yeah, grocery. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, really That's easy. That's a great idea. 
Especially during strawberries, with strawberries, right. Let's go this order. There is no wrong way to do this, I was told, because I said, well, what's the exact order? And they said, whichever way Just you want. Just get it on there. Get it on there, because it looks good. But look, fresh whipping cream, so it's gonna be so light and airy. Then I put a little of the uh, berry puree, and then let's make some layers. A little sandwich. Again, think about what you would pay for this. Huh in a fine bakery. And we're gonna do more than a sandwich. We're gonna layer up like oh, four or five like of these. Oh, like a cake. Yeah, That's exactly. Awesome. Look at us go here. So again, is this complicated? No. Is this something that you would pay for in a restaurant because it looks good and it's fresh and it tastes great? I could put a little swirl on the plate for you, but I won't go too <laughs> over the top. But the bottom line is anything that you're doing fresh Right. is easy to do right. with the right tools. Well, it and doesn't I, get any easier than just putting it in your hands. But also, Stephanie, I think the problem is, is a lot of us either hate to cook or love to cook, but the, the challenge is, is that um, we hate the prep. Absolutely. You know, it's the doing all, all this fancy stuff, you know, typically takes, you know, 20 different appliances on your kitchen counter. Yeah. Now you've got one. So if it's going to be, if you only used it to make that juice, to do it, your it's juicing. It's worth it just for that. 100%. That's why I want to show you, you again. if you really are committing yourself to eating healthier, and maybe you're making the protein shakes, which right. I do every morning. But yeah, I always me too. put in, I always add a banana. I always put in extra spinach in my protein shake. So you shake. need a little oomph. I, I need you a need lot of oomph. You need that 350 watts. Absolutely. I put raspberries in mind and I'm doing it every single morning and again you'll st I think you'll stay committed to a better healthier eating plan if you have a tool that's convenient and easy and here's the thing maybe you're using it for the healthy eating as your main function but then you realize how great it is for holidays then you realize that your tailgates are better with fresh salsa and right. you realize right. the dessert is way more fun with fresh whipping cream <laughs> and easy I love the fact you can be fancy without being difficult right and it you goes right in cool the dishwasher things. and you're good and, you're and good it's to go. on come on you know yeah. that name They're that German there. engineering I really like insane. the red, too. I love the red, actually, too. All right, Steph, thanks for hanging out Good tonight. Good to see you. And stay right there. Again, please remember, this is...